everyone, this is Vikraman, and welcome back to Tyranny. And uh, we have just met with the Archons. The edict has been proclaimed, so we must move quickly or we shall die too. I'm Sivius, commander in third generation disfavored. Uh, Sivius the Younger, the rank says commander, but lately I'm just organizing patrols and trying to stay out of the way. Uh, you should talk to Iron Marshal if you something official that needs discussing. I've heard you asking uh, that Earthshaker where their reinforcements have gone. I'm afraid so. Radix, the head of the Earthshakers, was supposed to arrive with a group of his most competent spellslingers to help break this stalemate. I don't know what's holding up their arrival, and that worries me. If you were at all inclined to lend a help, a hand, we could use some of arcane support on our side. Okay, yeah. Could you? I knew that Tunan's agents wouldn't fail us in a time of need. I'll mark the last known site of the Earthshaker reinforcements on your map. Good hunting, Big Bender. Oh, yeah, that's good. This is Iron Marshal, right? Yeah. Don't just coddle the end back. Push back with the shield. Take the momentum. I set eyes on your opponent's waistline. If you spend more than a glance checking his footwork, you've lost. Pale golden, golden circo. Judging from her uniform, this is the Iron Marshal Arianos, first among equals in the Iron Guard. Raven Ash's inner circle of trusted followers, charged with being the duties of leadership, logistics, and training, there is rarely a quiet day for the second in command of the Disfavored Legion. Uh, I was mentioning you're short on warriors. What's the situation? I have big brigades amassing in Long Placid, Echo Call, and Little Tooth Crossings. The Vendrian Guard may be able to hold one bridge, but they cannot hold against a concerted three-pronged attack. I have no right to give you orders, but... But we all die to Kairos Edict should we fail, so I'm not about to let my pride blind me to the value of good help. Defeat in detail. We carved a bloody path up the river, but at that point, everyone who charged ahead was lost. We had no chorus backup. It was just a few disfavored squads. Can't tell you exactly how they were defeated, but we lost the whole assault team. It's not often the tears been put up such a good fight. It certainly made us reevaluate the number we'll need to take this valley. Really? Are you sure our scouts didn't give you all sorts of details about the enemy and you just chose to disregard our warnings? Yeah, we pass out Blame Raider. Quite right. Get our emotions in the mix. Won't hasten this campaign. Then our plan just might work. We are loath to work with those who do not share our training and our values, but we know that Tunan the Abjudicator, Abjudicator selects only the most capable minds for his court. Trust you will honor us all in the field. And Tio will be leading the charge at Echo Call Crossing. Assisting you will be Barrack of the Stone Shields. Before you ask, no, the Forgebound weren't sloshed on Dappleseed when they fitted his armor. He survived the full force of the Edict of Storms. And this armor doesn't exactly come off. Tactically, it's quite brilliant, but otherwise it's something of a curse. Uh, Barrett, come meet the Fate Binder. So he has like a permanent iron suit. Fate Binder, the Iron Marshal has tasked me with keeping you alive. And I have no intention of disappointing her. That should be enough assurance for anyone. I wasn't sure you would recognize me, Binder. <laughs> uh, familiar, familiar voice, so we know him. For a moment, you can recall the features of Barrack of the Stone Walls when he wore the traditional disfavored uniform during the stalwart campaign, though he looks much changed. No. Not staying out of trouble, just solving it. I take it you're with us for Echo Call? Barrack, is that you under there? I had no idea you were in Vendrian's well. Fatebinder, do you know this walking anchor? Uh, so she knows him too. I 
I encountered Barrack in the stalwart campaign, though he appears much changed. He's an excellent soldier. Hey, so. Well, I'm afraid I left the better part of myself on the killing fields of Stalwart. But it's still in my and honor to serve the Legion. The Fatebinder will be joining us for the push across the river. Thagard an extra hand might help, and more importantly, if my worries come true and the chorus tries to impede the mission, we will have an observer from the court on our side. Work with the honorable binder and some chorus children. I ask that Beric accompany you there to arbitrate the cooperation between his company and the Scarlet Chorus. Beric, you've been without a cohort since the last battle of Stalwart. It's time we gave you a task more worthy than hauling wagons and leading training drills. Ash has assigned you to the Fatebinder's service. You're to assume this task is ongoing until we find a more permanent spot for you, which could very well mean the swiftly approaching end of this war. Or when the Fatebinder dismisses you. It's not understood. I suppose I could be in worse company than that of a renowned mage slayer. I have seen how this one treats any upstarts who fail to recognize the benefits of Kairos' peace. Far more dangerous than the average tearsman levy, these fire mages become the focus of a joint disfavored in Scarlet Chorus assault. That's an order, Beric. He can be as stubborn as pulling a spire out of the earth. But he's a good soldier. Hope you don't mind the company. Excellent. I look forward to your success in the field. So now we've got Beric. Who is, uh, as, as you can probably imagine... He is a sort of tank character. And that is how we're going to play him in this uh, campaign. You can also make him a pretty uh, beefy warrior type as well. Um, but yeah, we'll, we will certainly make him sort of tanky. So with that in mind, we're going to focus on uh, vitality and resolve for his statistics. We might do a little might here and there. This is quite a useful ability uh, and it will actually upgrade as we go. It's essentially a taunt, the area of effect taunt. Um, I got it. But yeah, we can upgrade it to do different things to the enemies. What do we got? Uh, Imperial Iron Falcata. It's uh, the same as what you're wearing right now. Okay, well, is it? we can't use it just it. now. Although, yeah, maybe maybe we'll give it to our Fate Binder at some point. What do we got? We got a seek. Oh, no. I believe that was the sound for going into stealth there. Which didn't want to do. What do we got? Oh, heavy leather helm. And an assassin's raiment. Oh, look at that. Uh, plus 15% to critical damage multiplier. That is a very nice upgrade for us. And that is too, plus three accuracy. Those are some awesome stuff right there. Repairing weapons with a scrap, with scrap isn't exactly why I got into the craft, but our supplies are spent. Bronze will do in a pinch. Don't get me wrong, it can take a beating and get bent back into shape. Unlike the stubborn iron we have here. Always have plenty of tin and copper lying around, so supplies aren't the problem. It's a rare smith who can churn out military grazed bronze consistently. More often than not, it comes out soft. Look around camp. We're garbing the legion head to toe in iron because it's cheaper and easier to produce for the masses. Couldn't do that with bronze. Okay. Of course, some of us do go 
overboard from time to time. They call the disfavored the Iron Legion for a reason. Strategy and skill may be our backbone, but our claws are made of iron. The good stuff that comes from the smiths and Lethians crossing. I'm afraid so. The last shipment was sent down the Matani went missing near Echo Call. Crossing. For we won't be seen any more now that the valley is sealed. Keep your voice down. Graven Ash doesn't want to cause a panic or pass any information to the Vendrian Guard. Best case scenario, the iron tumbled off a boat and is rusting on the riverbed. Worst case, it ends up in enemy hands. Uh, yeah, I'm going to aid in operation. I'll keep an eye out for the shipment. As does the great general, more than you might guess. Maybe he isn't quick to offer his thanks to outsiders, but I know he'll be grateful for your help. Be a boon to the war effort if our iron was recovered. Yeah, yeah, we could, you can trust me to handle this. I knew that Tunan wouldn't have dispatched you without good reason. The court isn't exactly known for gambling when the stakes are high. You you see that. That is how we tell apart from our iron shipments from the rest. Oh, he's looking at notches on the side of the wood. Uh, yeah, what do you got? We don't have any money. Actually, we do now. Crest? No, 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 no. Let's see what it is. Uh, it is light armor. Any good for verse there? Actually, yeah. It's a pretty nice uh, upgrade. Although it'd be basically all of our stuff. Is there a difference here? I think they just look different, probably. Plus 20 parry, plus 15 endurance. Now, uh, Barrack, as you might guess, you cannot take his equipment off of him, his armor. So you have to kind of work around that. Okay, I think we've done everything here. So let's get going. Ooh. And a bronze war mace. On it. We'll just give that to Beric. He might not use it. But that's cool. Uh, let's go visit the Scarlet Chorus camp. Ambush! Pick up some more quests, I think, and then uh, we'll go do them. Oh, who are you? That's far enough, Fatefinder. Uh, when woman's voice booms from atop a nearby outcropping. Flashes of aquamarine body paint peak from under the blue pigment bladed staff and complex braided attire. The traditional trappings of the School of Tides. Uh, the majority of the school fled before the coming of Kairos. The remainder were last seen during the first campaign in Vindrian's Well. Magic of Water and Grave Light. The art of directing the moon's arcane light into baleful searing energy. The blue flag is a symbol of diplomacy and truce recognized across most of the known world. We have dishonored the surrender that you offered us in our year of defeat. I cannot excuse or defend our action. Our oh, okay. History. But all the same, I am deeply indebted to you for treating my tearsmen with charity and humanity. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. Oh, okay. As is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. A few of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, 
We would negotiate for his release. Yeah, we gave him to the Scarlet Chorus. Then if we see him again, it will have to be as enemies. If I may make one more inquiry. What if Pelot's Tyrell? Uh, that's like she mentioning names to countless cheers when you've encountered. You're reasonably certain she's asking about the Vendrian Guard warrior that took Drastus hostage at the Edruin Ruins. He did not survive the encounter. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. Then all that remains is for me to thank you for hearing me out. In accordance with our ancient customs north and south, let us part with... Alright, we got a water mage in the enemy team here, which is somewhat concerning. What is this here? Soldier's arm in the bottom of this pond, a victim of the previous battle. Take all that stuff. Alright, we're on the way. Let's see what the Scarlet Chorus has to say. Oh. How did you do that? Back in the Archon's war tent, you cast an edict as casually as reading the supply shipment. Don't I look stupid? You were the one who cast the Edict of Storms on Stalwart, didn't you? The one that tore the battlefield apart with the cyclone of Kairos' anger. Call me impressed. Considering that, uh... You've read the words of Kairos more than once. I'm surprised that you're even alive to tell of it. I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. It's just worth recognizing that you're done. Not only are you two nuns feet binder, you're the mouthpiece of the Overlord. Stick around. You're going places. I want to see where they lead. Okay. Fair enough. These are chorus grounds. State your business or get lost. You don't look like someone's conscript. You sure you're in the right place? I'm here to help vanquish the Oathbreakers. You know, I think I was told to expect somebody, but you seem too ugly to be him. <laughs> what exactly should I let you in? More importantly, what's this hulking tone of iron doing here? Before she can draw her blade to advance, place your foot behind hers and give her a stiff shove on the shoulder. Caught off balance, she tumbles backwards, triggering an outburst of laughter in the other guard. I can't believe you sassed the fate binder. You're such a stupid ponce. Didn't I tell you we have special guests coming? Come on in. Don't let the ninny shitters in camp give you any guff. Alright, thanks. Salveros. You. So you're a two nuns faithbinder. I was expecting something more impressive. Death now. Scarlet Kurt Fury. My time is yours for as long as it amuses me. Let's get one thing clear. Stick to your words and law. Leave the fighting to the grown adults. Your corpse would be a tripping hazard to those of us with a proper bit of carnage sport. We've got enough useless twats dying for a name as it is. All our horde recruits seem good for of late. It's piling in a shriekeen mound of, on the battlefield. Keeps up and we'll have to toughen our recruitment standards again. Now what do you need? I 
swelling until it's thundering, then crashing and receding. It's been the way of the chorus for as long as I've been in it. We take our prisoners alive, give them a chance yet to live, to be reborn into something better. Putting any and every able body to the sword. Look at his favor to do is nothing but a waste. A conquered enemy is but a new ally. Really requires a proper coercion. Of course, we do sometimes have the problem of lingering loyalties. Deserters are rarely successful in their escape, but they do try. The Vindrian guards, strengthened by their numerous blood ties, have been particularly stubborn. So I have a better plan hatched. Uh, what might that be? Thinking we'd redouble our efforts to recruit settlers, focusing on the unaligned and unsuspecting instead of flushing ourselves to the gills with oathbreakers. Came from the battlefield. Uh, how exactly do you plan to convince them? A knife point has sufficed well enough in the past, but you've inspired me to try a more diplomatic approach this day. What do you say, Binder? We might be able to ease them into the idea. Save the lives of their friends and neighbors in the process. I'm not doing it your dirty work. Why am I not surprised? Impartial to the end, is it? Our end, mind you. If we can't break the siege of Vendrian's well, and for that we need bodies. One that aren't trying to desert during the damn attack. Tell you what, you change your mind about dying, you know where to find me. What were you expecting? Let's see. From your deeds during the conquest, to how you've helped us since then. Suppose I didn't expect much. You've done nothing to challenge it. By Scarlet Chorus standards, you're no more ordinary than a conscript. Work a little harder on setting yourself apart. Maybe someday you'll live up to your name. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Found something. Ooh. Good thing I keep a torsion wrench handy. What do we got? Is that a pig? Yeah. Looks very strange. Hail, Fate Binder of Tunan. Were I betting or a superstitious man, I'd say fortune must favor me today. I am not. But I'm pleased to meet you all the same. Now, what brings you to my little slice of personal damnation, otherwise known as this year mud and shit stinking chorus camp? What about the chorus isn't unusual. The army itself is a strange malnourished beast. But no, no, the screamers seem mostly in order, sir. And I haven't been spying, if that's what you're implying, sir. Of course, even if I was, it'd be damn near impossible to learn anything from this shit sty. Fifth Eye and those damn furies don't even loop me in enough for me to do my detail. It's not for lack of trying. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not here to keep a steady eye on the Oathbreakers, who they give far too much freedom. After conscripting, I'm here to be a resource for the benefit of both armies. I can provide insight... Regarding proper stratagem and request a stock of troops from the Iron Marshal Irenaeus for reinforcements if needed, but they won't listen to me, nor could fight me, nor fight beside the brethren I could request. Isn't it? I know I fucked up to get here. Got three days in the hole and a nice little promotion to go with my new posts. Well, I won't be making the same mistake twice when it comes to the Iron Marshal. I should be out there fighting for Ash's glory, not standing here ready to run back a report should something ever finally happen. Made the grave mistake of suggesting the Iron Marshal wasn't fully utilizing the Scarlet Chorus. Well, here I am, a liaison's, liaison's office to a camp of liars and cheats who'd sooner gut me than ask for my aid. Guess she showed me. Alright. Fair enough. Well, 
That's just loot. Well, look what we have here. The Fate Binder finally shows himself. I'm Reg, and this is Baz. We were wondering when you might pay the camp a visit. Fifth Eye has been a little starved for attention. He ordered us to, to watch you like a troublesome babe. Make sure you don't get out of line. Something like that. If you have questions, ask. Good luck finding anyone else in camp who will give you answers or even a smile. Uh, what can you tell me about the Fifth Eye? Uh, they say he shares a direct link with the voices of Nera. Guard your tongue around him. He's a little wild, blessed, thirsty, mad, brilliant. I was going to say eccentric. The, the chorus isn't picky about who joins the ranks, so you could expect to find some unusual types. Most are as likely to kill you as promote you. The walls might seem imposing, but the Vendrian Guard do a better job of hiding its weaknesses than fixing them. We took the Citadel once before. We can take it again. We have to, don't we? Though Kairos knows I don't want to stay any longer than necessary. You should know better than to parade your cowardice before the Fate Binder. It's not cowardice. It's just superstition. Are you afraid of this buyer? I Sorry, uh, Fate Binder. I shouldn't have mentioned anything. The fact of the matter is we were told to stay away from spires and old walls ever since we were babes. All the dumb childhood lessons that fell by the wayside, that one stayed the same. Imagine the scory, the a soldier of the chorus pissing himself over architecture. More like what's underneath it. The bane lurk around those old sites and kill anything they can catch unawares. I've no wish to meet the bane in combat unless there are a hundred blood chanters at my back. Me neither, I suppose. Okay, thanks. What is this? Sigils in their body. This ink doesn't have much practical use and can be sold to a merchant. Okay. There we go. Ah, uh, water. Uh, we don't have the subterfuge for that. Well, I think we're going to have to talk to the fifth eye next time, but uh, thanks for joining us this episode so we welcomed our lumbering iron friend mr barrick to the team and we'll find out what's going on next time see you then mm -hmm.